Last week I showed you an interesting seam that looks like a flat chain of stitches. It was an adaptation of an embroidery stitch that is called a square chain stitch. Right after I posted that video, I've got an email from Rita Cuts, and Neda who is subscribed to my newsletter, and she suggested that we could make this seam using crochet hook. After some more trial and error testing, I did find a way to make it work, and in this video I'll show you how to make this beautiful flat chain seam using crochet hook. To get started, align the pieces you want to seam so that the wrong sides are hidden between them, like this. See, the wrong side is in, in there and the right side is outside. Now insert the crochet hook into a spot that is one stitch away from the top edge of each piece when you're holding them like that and as close to the cast on edge as possible. So I'm gonna go over somewhere over here in this one and then again one stitch away from the edge and as close to the cast on edge as possible like this. Now take the yarn, fold it and place it on the hook. Then uh, pull the, the, um, the yarns through both layers of the fabric like this and make sure you have a tail that is long enough to weave in later on when we are done seaming. Now wrap the hook with both strands of the, the working yarn on the tail like this and pull the wrap through the stitch just like this and pull it tight. Now the yarn is secured and we are all set to start seaming. Lay the fabric flat with the knit side facing to you so open them up those two pieces and lay them flat and then place the yarn tail, bring it, so here's the, the yarn tail, bring it to the back, to the wrong side of the work and down like this and let it sit there. That's it, we won't do anything special with it. Now we are gonna uh, start seaming and just as we did in the first version of the seam, we'll be using the stitches that are at the very edge of each knitted uh, piece. So we are looking at the first stitch from the edge over here and the first stitch from the edge that would be this one over here. And we won't use the whole stitch, we'll just use the leg of that stitch that is uh, closer to the fabric, that is away from the edge. So we'll use this leg over here and um, this leg over there okay and we'll co call it the working leg and keep the working yarn at the back so don't bring it to the front of the work keep it at the back so now we are all set and here's what we need to do to make this seam first insert the hook into the the leg like well, let's call it the working leg so the leg of the stitch on the left so we go for the next stitch and we insert the hook from left to right under that leg, like this. <clears throat> now uh, we go to the piece on the right and we insert the hook into the working leg, again that the, the, the one that is away from the edge, of the first stitch, um, of the next stitch of the piece on the right, but this way we go from right to left like this. And that part is the key. I tried to making this seam with a crochet hook several times, but every time the seam wasn't flat until I figured out this part. So we need to insert the hook on, on the piece uh, on the right we go from right to left, not from left to right like we did in uh, with the wool needle when we were discussing this, the first part, uh, the first way to make the seam. So that's very important. You go from right to left here. And now we uh, wrap the hook with the yarn and pull this wrap through all strands. One, two, and this, uh, the loop that is already on the hook. That's how it works. Let's do it again. So insert the hook, the piece on the left, from left to right. 
Then uh, the, the next stitch on the right, from right to left, that's very important. The yarn is always at the back. Don't bring it to the front, okay? Now wrap the hook with the yarn and then pull this yarn through all three strands we have on the, on the hook. And let's do it again. Piece on the left, from left to right, the piece on the right, from right to left, wrap the hook with the yarn and pull it all the way through all three stitches. Don't make the stitches tight. They should be about the same size as the stitches of the fabric. So about this big in, in my case, okay? And um, repeat these steps until your knitted piece gets joined. So piece on the left, uh, piece on the right. We go into next uh, stitches, the, the working leg of next stitches, and then pull it through. I'll make a few more stitches so you could uh, better see how the seam looks, and then we'll take a closer look at it. And here we are, a few more stitches, and now you can clearly see the seam itself. It looks really nice. It's not invisible on my swatches because I'm using yarn and contrasting color. Uh, because I want you to see to see the seam, but if you use yarn in the same color as the project, then you will you will notice that the seam basically blends with the fabrics, and it's not it's not visible at all. And that's how it looks on the wrong side. It's quite lovely, right? It's really nice, and it's flat. See over here, you see that it's it's not bulky. We don't get that bulk as the mattress stitch has. The biggest advantage of making this seam with a crochet hook as opposed to the wool needle like we did in the previous video tutorial is that there is no need to guess how much yarn we'll need for seaming. And that means less measuring, less guesstimating and fewer knots. So you use as much yarn as you need because you're taking the yarn from the ball and you cut it only when the seam is finished. Then you will pull the tail through this last loop like this and uh, weave in ends. And that's it. Easy. Once again, many thanks to Rita for nudging me into finding a new way to make this beautiful seam. Thank you for watching this video and have a wonderful week. I'll see you next Thursday.